Do you know that bromate can cause cancer in your thyroid glands, in your intestines, in your kidney? Now, so many bakers are using bromate to improve the size quality of their bread and thereby harming people more. That is why now that decide to ban the use of bromate in, in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to identify bromate free bread. Now, bromate is a chemical used by bakers to improve the quality of bread. It makes the dough to stand and remain like that. You know, it's a bread improver. So when you use bromate to bake, you will have more quantity because if you cut little size and pan, it will rise. And when it rises, it will not just collapse. It, it makes the bread to be that strong and it increases or improves the elasticity of the dough. So it makes the bread not to, you know, collapse anyhow. That is why any bread that they use bromate in, produ in producing it, you, you find out that if you press the bread, it will go in and return. It will Despite the fact that it works well with the bread, it does not work well with our body. So, using bromate to produce, you know, commercial bread, you are actually a wicked person. You are actually destroying lives. You are actually harming people's lungs. You are actually distributing cancer. So, why use it? Because all because you want to make profit. All because you want, you know, the, one bag of flour to give you a, at least 120 to 130 loaves. And then you don't care, you don't mind who is dying, who is being harmed. Are you aware that most of the bread you produce are eaten by children? And if they constantly eat that bread, they may not see the light of their destiny. So people don't have this at the back of their mind. All you focus is the money that you are making. Whether the country is in darkness, in terms of debt, you don't care. Whether people are getting sick, you don't care, and then you produce. So, for you that is not a baker, for you not to fall victim, one of the easiest ways is to check for those bread that are clearly written uh, bromate free. That is one of the simplest things. If you want to buy bread, check if it is written bromate free. That is one easy way. Because those that use bromate will not just write that bromate free. Now, another way, another simple way, the reason I bought this, these are different brands, you know. This is from different bakery. 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 Now, let me show you something. You look at this. I'm trying to press this bread. Watch as it will go back to its normal position. You see, just look at it. Even my, my fingerprints are going off. It will go back to its normal size. Good bread, supposed not to be so. This is not balloon. Bro, any bread, look at how I'm disturbing this bread. And it's still the same way. You should know that something is wrong with the bread. Normal bread, good bread, if you press it, it's supposed to go down. It's supposed to start breaking. But in this one, you have to use some force. It, now, you have to know that it's different from bread that is elastic. This one is bouncing. Now, look at this one again. It will go back. Look at it. It's like spring. It's as, this is just one of the simplest way to identify any bread they use bromate in producing. Another thing is that if you avoid buying certain breads from the streets, you know, people that are selling unbranded breads, those breads without... They just package it, no name, no identity. They use normal transparent nylon and package it. Avoid those loops because it will cause harm to your body than good. No, bromate bread is the cheapest bread in the market. Those, those loops that use bromate is the cheapest and most times heavier. When you find any loaf that is so good, so good but very cheap, you should be careful because... The, the cost of production now will not allow any anybody to sell a loaf of bread of this size, 250, 300 naira. I tell you, if you actually, you are using the egg, or even if you are not using egg, you are using the right recipe without adding bromine. If you sell the, the bread of this size for 250, I tell you, you will not recover. So, 
those that are selling it so cheap, how are they producing it? Haven't you, is, is it not something that you should ask yourself? So, in order to be safe, if you, if you are not mindful of, you know, just check it. Try to buy those breads that are a little bit good, at least, for your health's sake. Because, and I'm doing this so that I know my platform, we have more of bakers. I know that my platform are more of bake, you know, bakery owners that are my subscribers and my followers. That is why I decided to produce this to tell you that what you are doing is bad. Don't use, don't use what you know that will kill people. It's very bad. What is bad is bad. What has been condemned is, you know, is condemned. So stop using bromide to destroy lives. We already have a lot of problems that we are facing. We already yeah, imagine somebody who is earning thirty thousand buying your bread every day. Or every two, two days, three, three days, thinking that he's keeping his family happy and healthy, not knowing that he's buying poison from you. They, you know, the government, they are not foolish to ban that improver, that bromide, potassium bromide. So, those of you, I think the government should just do something, just help us by if you move, go to the markets and ask those retail stores, those bakery stores, just ask them for tablet. Don't even mention bromide. They will know that you are, you know, maybe a police officer or whoever that is an agent from NADA. If you just say, I want tablet for my bread, they will give you bromide straight. So, it's so rampant in the market. It's so rampant everywhere. So you don't, I don't need to tell you that uh, if you go to so-so place, so-so, no, I, I may not know all of those things. But if you just mention tablet for bread, then we, I know that that is the language because I produce bread. I know the language we speak. So if you just go to the market and tell them that, you know, without conscience, people are producing this to sell. Please, before you buy your bread, check Check. If it is too cheap, don't buy. If it bounces like this, normal bread, if you press it, it's up not to return. But this one, look at it, it's returning like, like balloons. Yet, you know, if you look at it very well, bromed bread also had, has some, a, a kind of taste that will remain as if your throat is scratching. That means the quantity they use is very high. When you eat bread, after a while, you can feel a little scratch. It's small, very small discomfort. I think you need water to drink. That is bromid. It's very bad. You know, I know it because it's my field. I study food science and technology, so I should be able to detect. That is why I decide to help humanity in this one. Thank you for watching. Please share this video to save more lives. Share this video to inform more people to avoid those bread that nothing is written on it, no identity, no address, no business name. Another thing is there is nothing like bromate free written on it, no NAVDAC registration. Avoid those loops because you are doing more harm than good. People are using chemicals, all kinds of chemicals to produce so as to make profit. So it's better if you can bake bread, bake bread at home or go to the best they know the trusted bakeries and buy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. You must share this video so that others will learn. See you in our next video. Bye-bye.